Greg and Mary. This might be a little easier to, you know, make a video when you have questions on the software. So I'm going to make this video on how to resize things. Now remember, you have some limits because of how the design may have been created or what software it was created in. So let's go up to import. I'm going to go ahead and just um, use import2 if it's a DST file. Or you can use the sewing machine icons, either one. Um, but let's go ahead and import a DST file. So here's a DST file. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so what happens is it comes in, and depending on what software it was made in, it might not be centered. So I don't seem to have anything on the screen. But if I look over here, I have things in you know, the file. So I'm going to go ahead, and when this happens, when it's not centered from the other software, just click on the one-to-one -one option to bring it in. Okay, so here's my file. Here are the colors that are seen in the design. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look at my stitch count. It's 12,131 stitches. So when I want to resize this, I'm going to left click on it and I get those black bounding boxes. And then I'm going to come down to this toolbar and there's this yellow square that says resize. When I click on that, I have this resize box. And you can see there's the original size of the design. So if I want to make this a little bit bigger, like X is going to be your width and Y is going to be your height. So if I change one size here, the other one will automatically adjust because I have this checked. Okay, so if I want to make this maybe 150 millimeters wide, when I press the tab key on the keyboard, you can see that adjusts as well. Now, if I just click OK here, I won't get any change in the stitch count. It's just going to resize it. So remember to put a check mark in Apply Stitch Processing. So let's go ahead and say OK. And it's going to ask me, you know, do you want to do that? Because these are locked. When you bring a design in that's been made in another software package, the areas are locked. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. We want to go ahead and do that. So I say yes. And you can see my stitch count has increased to 22,773. Now, what you have to be careful of, let's go to 3D Stitch View, is, for example, you know, if this is going to now be too wide, you know, satin stitch areas that were made um, or not, you know, but it seems to have done very well on this design. You know, I've got gradient shading here and you know it's looking pretty good so you can try to test stitch it but if you have a design that was made in software that really will not allow this to resize because there are several packages out there that will make it difficult to resize and stitch process anything then you need to edit a little bit and what you can do to edit for example if I don't like the way this satin stitching looks, or if this satin stitching is maybe too long, what I can do is right click on the area that you want to edit. And what you have to be careful of is if you look, you see I'm attached to the little pod down there. See these things here? Now anything that's flashing indicates that it's attached. So I have to be careful about that. You know, I may not be able to edit something that, you know, um, you know, has these lines coming down because that's going to be a jump stitch right there to the paw. See the paw? Let me change the color so you can really see it. We'll change that to green. Okay, see what's going on here? There's my handle, there's this line, and then to the paw. And then there's this travel stitch down to here. Okay, so you have to be careful. Some things you just can't fix, but sometimes you can. Okay, so when you get something like this, there isn't much you can do about it except maybe remake the area because that's being seen as one piece. But if I look at this buckle, and we'll go ahead and change the color of the buckle so you can see it better too. I'll just make it white. Okay, there's my buckle. The buckle, when I select it, is just the buckle. You can see over here there's nothing else, you know, attached to it like up here. So when I have something like this, what I can do is I can unlock this and edit it. So if you come up with something 
that is like this buckle where it's you know singled out pretty good and there's nothing else attached to it then you can come over to this little lock symbol and unlock it now when you unlock this there's no fill type assigned you can see down here there's no stitch type right but I can come down here and I can say make that a complex fill and it'll change that for me okay now what you have to be careful of is you can see it's a little bit wider than it originally was so you have to be a little bit careful about what you edit or how you edit like you know as I said I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down so you can see what's going on see the green like this green section I couldn't edit this buckle I can edit slightly you know because it's individual but this green section because of the software this was made in will not allow me to edit this very well okay so I've changed this piece to green or to pink see how it's all flashing but I've got complex here satin here and complex here so this area I could edit because of no jumps in between so to do that I would go up to you know my film strip here click on the unlock or the little lock icon to open that up and unlock it okay now I can assign a fill type to it or I can edit and I'm gonna go ahead and edit first to edit I go up to my view outline you can see everything goes into outline view and I can see what's going on here like I have a little bubble up here I might want to get rid of you know here's the sections here that need to be satin and this needs to be complex right then I can use my editing tools okay to be able to zoom in real close go up to your icon that has the square and the triangle and zoom in real close on anything you want to edit and then you know make sure you go to view outline here it's the one with the green dots and then you have an outline menu on your main screen you can click on the outline menu and we're going to use divide with the line now I can just come up here and left click and left click and there's a little line that's made and the same thing over here left click and left click and cut those away and the same thing down here you know I'm going to cut these two side pieces away that are supposed to be satin and if you make a mistake on that you can backspace but remember you have to be outside of the areas it's like cutting with scissors you have to make sure you go start outside and end outside see how all my points are outside when you're done just press enter and then press escape and then you can you know right click off to the side okay so what I have are four pieces now so here's you know that piece that piece and here's these pieces here on the side right okay so let's go ahead and generate and what's gonna happen is yeah you know, those pieces don't even show up after you edit don't panic just go back into view outline right click on this piece come down and tell it it's supposed to be a complex fill go back to view outline right click on this piece same thing complex fill go back to view outline right click on this piece hold your control key you know because you can select multiple pieces and select those two pieces and then come down here and say satin okay so now I've got this looking a lot better I still have the satin stitching here and then I've got the buckle now in, in complex and when I click on this you know I can change the the stitch directions it's now completely editable you know I can fix this little bobble up here if I want you know I can um, you know just go back to view outline and see this little bobble right here I can go into you know edit mode or I can use the outline tools and we're going to use adjust with new points so if I want to adjust I can left click here and that's where I want to start adjusting and left click here because that's where I want to end adjusting and then see this line highlights blue then I'm just gonna left click and catch it and you know see my lines attached now so I'm gonna redo this outline I'm gonna left click or I can you know right click here but I might as well go ahead and left click and press enter 
and then remember to escape. If I want to curve this a little bit, no big deal. I can go to edit mode and just curve that piece a little bit or right click and delete a point and curve it if I need to. Okay, so now let's right click off the side and regenerate. So if you have areas that are giving you problems, you can do some editing. But if you end up with something like this, you can still go into your view outline and you'll have to chop a bunch of things up and you might have to reproduce some things. This is a travel line. But if I right click here and say divide with a line, you know, I can do the same thing. I can chop these pieces up. So let's see if we can, you know, just chop these pieces away. And like I said, if you make a mistake, just backspace. And yes, I want to go ahead and chop it. And let me see if it's going to let me chop this piece here. And so now I've got these pieces chopped. So now let's right click off to the side. There's that piece that was giving us trouble. And here's the paw, right? And I need to go up to outline and divide with a line and chop this paw off too. Okay, and then, you know, I can basically right click on that and press control delete. Now, bear in mind, I still have this and I need to deal with this, so let's make that satin. Remember, if you unlock anything, you've got to change it. See how wide that is? Go back to view outline. And this paw right here um, I'm going to go ahead and just make it complex for right now. But see, there's that handle that I told you was probably going to be too wide. And then our paw looks a little flaky, but we're not going to worry about that. You know, we're just going to look at this and fix this first. So when I look at this handle, it says satin and it's just absolutely too wide. And my satin's funny, you know, but not a big deal. I'm going to you know, go into view outline again, and you know, the same thing, I'm gonna, you know, let's go edit this a little bit, you know, like I can probably delete that point and see that curve comes back, you know, I've got a bunch of points I probably really don't need, so I can just right click on these, remember if you have to straighten that, you can right click on the curve, but see all these little pieces here, you know, I'm better off if I delete some of these points and get rid of this mess. You see these extra points down here? I, I don't need any of those. You know, I just need like the corner points, right? Same thing here. I don't need these extra points. And, you know, I just need to straighten this out. Now, because I did all of the editing, you know, on this, I need to reset my satin stitch. So I'm going to come down here and say complex. Then I'm going to come down here and say satin and see how much nicer that's looking on the edges. Okay, then I'm gonna go up to my properties, go to satin, and enable a fill. And then just say, okay, generate, if it doesn't auto-generate for you. And there's my new handle. Now I still have this paw to deal with, but I'm not gonna worry about the paw, right? Because if you look, I've got bunches of paws here, so I can select one of the other paws that's looking okay. And, you know, I can just copy that paw. Copy and paste. And I can put that paw right here. Now I can get rid of this paw. So I'm going to left click on it in the film strip and press control and delete. Okay, now I still have some colors that are out of place. Like there's my base color and there's my second color. And if I double left click on that, I get everything including the pause and the shading that should be together. Then right click and move to index two. In this case, it's design. But what I wanna do is get this in order. There's my first piece, then I've got all these colors together. And then I've got this pink, and you know, my green handle actually needs to go up before the pink. So that's how you would resize and then fix any little things that are going wrong with the design. And 
if you have colors like this coming in from DST, right, these should actually be maybe a different color. So I'm going to click on the, the little color change there, and we'll change those to black so you can see them. See? Now, here's my cat. The cat, you can see it a little bit better now, might stitch a little bit better, but it's not looking very good. So unlock it. Come down and say that is a triple run. And then you can even fix like a line like that. See how much better the cat's looking now? So let's go one on one. And those are some basics about resizing and handling outlines. You know, if it's if it's a line like the cat was a line, then I can unlock it. Remember, you gotta click on these locks to unlock it and assign a new fill type to it. You know, I just came down here on the cat and said make it a triple run. So it just converted it back to running stitches and that should help you with your outline. Now, this probably seems like a lot, but I'm going to send you this file so you can practice on this file and follow the video. Thanks.